Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. This is it, folks. It's not only a TGIF, it's a TGIY. This is it. We are kicking into 2024, and let's make it a great one. To begin, a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are, what the needs of your mind are. And what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women. Some of them make a good match for you and others won't. The two of you only need to be like a what? A key and a lock. A match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 25, NASDAQ off 63, SP's off 12 and a half. Gold, gold contract down $7.20, trading at 2,076 an ounce. Got silver down 29 cents, $24.08 an ounce, late street crude. Flat, $71.63 a barrel, notes and bonds. Ten-year note, down four ticks, trading 112.25. The 30-year, down 16 at 124.20 in King Dollar. King Dollar's trading up 116. I know you're in here somewhere. Where'd you hide? Uh, where'd you hide? On me? There we go. Oh, look at that. It's giving it up, actually. Uh, King Dollar's up 55 ticks, 101.285. Euro at 127, yen at 140, British pound at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? Well, bottom line is that you get a vacation week. We're kicking into 2024. You know, what was intriguing yesterday here, this is kind of wild. See, that we had actually a volume pop yesterday, which is pretty amazing for, a, a, you know, a vacation week. Today out here, you got down at 473.30, a rejected lower price. You're at 475.69. What we haven't done uh, is hit the highs inside the S&P. NDX 100, whole different ball game, man. NDX... With the three Qs, the three Qs got down to 407.58 today, rejected it. You're at 410.06. We take a look at this. We put this on a weekly, monthly, whatever you want to put it on. And the bottom line is that we're still, you know, basically right at the highs. You know, and you got to get away from these highs. That's the bottom line, folks. In order to get the higher price, you don't want to stay at these highs that were generated out here a couple of years ago for too long. Because if you do, bottom line, that's we're going to get a rejection of lower price. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. First to 10-year. 10-year out here today rejected 112.18. You're at 112.24 right now. You've done 1.1 million contracts. Bottom line is that you came against the strength from two days ago. You rejected it. This still wants higher price, lower yield. And right now, the 10-year is yielding 3.879. We go into the gold contract. Gold contract today, down 7 bucks. 98,000 contracts. Now, that's a, that's a good number because, see, we weren't going up with volume, but now we're backing down with tremendously lighter volume. We were going up, you know, with 130,000. I like to see a couple hundred thousand were going up there. That's the bottom line. Uh, we're backing down with 98. That's what you want to look at. And what's wide open right now, the first step that's wide open is the 2150, which is the high spike, high volume spike. If we go into the GDX, and we take a look at the GDX out here. What you have with the GDX is that, now this is the classic, man. You can see that it rejected $30.68. You're at $31.12. You were coming into volumes of over $35 million, and you're only at $14 million. That's what you want to see, folks, okay, when you're looking for higher price. 
We go into the good old King Dollar. And what you're going to see with King Dollar is that it's making its way down to this 99 area. And I suspect, it looks to me that it probably won't even hold price coming in. We're only up 45 ticks right now. So as soon as the program started, they start selling it off again. Now, if you take a look at this, you can see the last leg, we started out at the 101.600. We go to 100.600. And today we got to the 101.422. We take away from that, and you're right. You're back down to, well, if it's an ABC structure down, that gets you the 100, 422, and the bottom where I suspect we're going here is the 99, 578. That's how that baby's set up right now, and I expect we're going to get it. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here, and there's not a lot of volume. Period. I mean, you got uh, Marit. Oh, Marathon Digital, oh, that's, okay, that's got something going. Oh, no, that's down four, four and a half dollars. Let's go inside the NDX. We take a look at the NDX first. Inside the NDX, you get T-Mobile up 1%. PayPal's down two and a half. You got uh, Warner Brother off 2.3. Walgreens is off 2.7. Illumina's off 2.2. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus, and the Dow just could, you know, could, that's at a new high. I mean, well, not a new high today, but uh, Dow Industrials, point wise, what we have out here, you have uh, United Health, it's putting 12 points in, nothing big. Taken away from it, you get Home Depot minus 15, you got uh, Salesforce minus 14. Let's go to Home Depot. I want to, now, what we're looking for on Home Depot is you're looking to back down with light volume, and that's what you got. Look at this. This is a classic, man. You're up. It broke topside with 5.8 million to do a 2.2 million. That's what you want to see when you are bullish on an equity and you're looking for higher price. You break higher, you pull back, you pull back with lighter volume, reject lower price. That sets up the next leg higher. Dow Industrials down 14, NASDAQ off 55, S&P's off 11. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.